good morning hello um so today's look is on these eyes here and i did do like a little bit of an eyeliner tutorial as well i figured i would just combine the two because i haven't done like you know crazy eye makeup in a while so this is not crazy but whatever i haven't done eye makeup in a while so i did start with my base already done so this is focusing mainly on just the eye portion and then i did show you the lips just because fuck it why not um so yeah if you want to keep watching that would be incredible um so i did have somebody reach out to me via the comments of my last video and they're like hey do an eyeliner look and i was like why do I feel like I've done that? But also maybe I haven't. So like, I don't have anything on my page titled just eyeliner. So I think that we're gonna do a two in one. Um, I have had this palette, I'm not even kidding you, since like the week it came out, the month it came out. It's the Naked Cherry palette, the Urban Decay. Um, and I think I've used this like once, twice maybe. And I literally just have like a pile of, like a drawer full of, um, what are they called palettes that I just like never use you know so I feel like let's just do it also it's quarantine like whatever if it doesn't come out great it doesn't come out great I'm not going anywhere um so I will list everything down below but I'm gonna take this uh palette primarily I might dig into like a different shade like in another palette or two but I haven't gotten there just yet I honestly don't even know what I'm really doing so um I feel like I have hair all over my face like do you hate that I hate that okay um, like it's like the brush hair. It's like it's nothing but brush hairs. Anyway, um, also I'm not used to doing my makeup with like brushes. I've always done it with beauty blenders ever. So I'm just like, I don't know how to act. Okay, so I think I'm gonna zoom you guys in at least for one eye. Um, let's see how that goes. Okay, so again, I'm really sorry for the lighting, but um, it's a shitty day outside today and I just have my window open, so. That's just all we're gonna deal with. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take all Morphe brushes because that's what I just use on a regular basis. Um, I'm gonna be using M45, M456, excuse me, M433, JH31, and JH32. And they're just all like pretty big blending brushes. This is what they look like. Um, they obviously have like excess process from, excess process, excess, um, product because I use these every freaking day. Also, I feel like I have to say this in every video, but I hate talking to myself with no music on, so I have to have my AirPod in so I can actually just like speak with music because it's, it infuriates me. All right, anyway, let's do a shade all over the lid. That's gonna be caution in this. Um, I will like put the colors that you can see on the screen instead of holding up the palette and trying to focus and stuff. So um, I am just gonna use this mirror to blend with me. So caution is going on first. It's like a beigey skin color and i'm taking that on the m nope that's a lie this is the jh32 again like i feel like i've had this for months and months and months and probably like years at this point and i've like never dipped into this so the reason i do this like all over base is because i do have um a morphe eye primer that's like translucent so you can't see it even if i have it on but i do just want to set that just in case you know anything so that's just how i like to do my eye looks so after that i'm gonna go in with juicy which is like a nice orangey pink coral pink and i'm gonna take that all over the crease Cheers. Wow. It's just a black coffee from Starbucks. And when I say from Starbucks, I mean from the supermarket because Starbucks is, you know, not a thing right now. I mean, it is, but it's just like crazy here on me. So um, I did buy the Starbucks cold brew like in the, uh, what is it called? Like in like the jar, like the fucking container. And it's uh, pretty good. And I just drink it black with two sponges in it and it's pretty fire, so. So I just realized that, this has nothing to do with you, but I just realized that this eye has better lighting because it's like right in front of the window. So I'll show you like the look predominantly on this eye because it just makes more sense. So I blend until like my hands hurt. So that's what you're just gonna do, you know? Um, so. Next, I'm gonna go in with Bing, which is like a 
like a purple, pretty much. Um, and I'm gonna take the, oh sorry, I didn't tell you what brush I used on that last one. That was the M456. And then now I'm gonna go in with the M433. And these are pigmented as fuck. So like dip and then tap because it's just crazy. I'm gonna take this on the outer corner here. Did I say crease before? I don't know. I like the way that pink eyeshadows look on my eye because I have brown eyes. Um, so like pink and purples like make your brown eyes pop, like especially hazel too. So when I'm in the sun, like my eyes have like shifts of yellow and it just like looks really pretty. So um, I just don't really do purple eye looks all the time because sometimes I want to match my eyeshadow to my outfit and rarely do I wear pink or purple or anything in that like color range. Next, I'm gonna go in with the M456, and then I'm gonna go in with the color Devilish, and I'm just gonna put this on the very outskirts of my eye. So like right here. And this is just gonna deepen everything up because all colors that we use were mattes, so we're just, you know, deepening to give you more contrast in the eye. Can I talk? No. This palette does have a little bit of fallout, but every palette does, so I'm not even worried about it. And when I just like literally go like this, it comes right off. So I'm not really worried all about that. And of course I'm gonna be blending into my lower lash line too. So um, I don't really give a shit. Okay, so now I'm gonna mix Bing and Devilish together and then just throw this on my lower lash. Sorry, I'm so out of focus, it's not even funny. And I'm also using that same M456. This is super smoky, so I'm just gonna take my nice little thing here. Focus, thank you. This is the JH07. I'm just gonna clean that up just a little bit. And this is just like a hack to, like instead of blending with that little brush forever, like I'm just taking like the super outskirts of this blend here and I'm just brushing it away so that it's just way easier. Like I feel like that looks way better than what it just did. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. And then finally, I think we're just gonna take a nice little shimmer and throw that on the lid, nothing special. I'm not gonna cut the crease, I'm just gonna throw it on the lid. Um, I cannot do it. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about my nails, we're just not. I'm gonna have a video up soon on me doing my own nails at home, but this is what they, hold on, hold on. This is what they look like right now. They're very, very, very grown out. There is so much skin there, so much nail bed that's my own and not the tip. Also, if I hold them side by side, they're completely different colors because when my friend was doing my hair, when my friend and I were doing my hair, I kept going like this to make sure that it wasn't getting on my skin. So all of that color transferred onto my nails and it won't come off. So they look like trash. But the whole point of me saying that was I'm not gonna be using my finger to apply because I literally can't, like I, I can't, <laughs> it's too long. So I am gonna take a, let's see. All right, so I just grabbed the Lunar Beauty like duo brush that came in the Life's a Drag palette and I'm gonna use this side here. And I don't know what the fuck that is. Anyway, um, I am gonna take some setting spray. I'm gonna dip into the color. I think I wanna do Bang Bang. It's between Bang Bang and Young Love. But I think Bang Bang is cuter, so let's go into that one. I'm gonna take a nice chunk there and spray my brush. That was satisfying, wow, okay. And I just walked into that setting spray, great. Okay, and then we're just gonna apply, <coughs> we're just gonna apply on the lid, like so. And then I'm just gonna flip this brush around and just blend anything that doesn't look great to me. Like I said, nothing fancy. If you wanted to do a cut crease, go for it. I'm just like not in the mood today. Um, and I didn't even lay down any like, so sometimes a hack I use is to lay down like a really, really light color like this one up here and put it underneath um, my shimmers and then obviously it would make everything pop more. But like I just did the setting spray because that's what I was feeling today. 
and good. Pretty simple look. I only use like what four colors. Um, sometimes I have this thing like you can literally see it right here. My eye gets um, like really watery when, when I'm doing my makeup. So sometimes the shadow just like gravitates towards where it's wet because that makes sense. Um, and then I just have to like take a Q-tip and wipe it off and it just like comes right off. But it's like super annoying to do every day, but whatever. All right, so let me, let's do a inner corner and a brow highlight. And then I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'll come back and we'll do the eyeliner together. So I'm just gonna take Hot Spot, which is like the lightest color in this palette. And I'm gonna take that on my brow bone here. I also do highlight with actual highlight on my brow bone, so this isn't totally necessary to me. Also, you can barely fucking see it because I am the color of this shadow. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay. Just blend that in. Perfect. And then I'm gonna take Bang Bang again and just continue that in my inner corner. Okay, so that's the finished eye look, this one here, without any eyeliner. Really simple, you know, some mattes and then a shimmer on the lid. So let me just finish this eye and then we'll do some eyeliner. Okay, so the way that I do eyeliner is a bit weird. I know it is, um, but just bear with me because this is the only way that it works for me. Um, I do naturally better eyeliner on this eye here, so I am gonna move the camera just a little bit to give myself some more light so you can actually see what's going on. Um, but I just use one product and one brush. This is the Morphe 158, and it has like the spoolie, focus, Thank you, this spoolie. And then it has like the angle tip here. And then the eyeliner that I use is the Sephora Colorful Eyeliner Waterproof. And this is in little lace, little black lace, something like that. It's just black. Um, I don't know why it says colorful. It is waterproof though. Fucking thank God. Um, I'm gonna rant for just a second. I went on Sephora to buy some stuff. I like bought a bunch of things off of Sephora for absolutely no reason. Um, but I went to look for my eyeliner because I need to restock because I probably have like one or two left of these and it said that item is no longer available. And I was like, so, sorry, what was that? Because if this is discontinued, like if this eyeliner is discontinued, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I bought like the new one that they have out, which is like, a, ugh, I hate them. They're like the, I'm gonna pull out one that it looks like, hold on. I really threw all of my black ones out because I hate them so much, but this is the white um, felt tip from NYX. And I just needed like a white eyeliner, so I was like, fuck it. But these types of eyeliner, like these sticks with like the felt tip, infuriate me you have no fucking idea also i just checked i only have one like this and then another new one in the back of my drawer there and i'm really not happy about it this also has a felt tip but it is so different like i don't know how to explain this liner like you can see the product on there whereas like a felt tip in this kind of bottle i feel like you don't like you can't control it. I don't, I'm not making any sense. It doesn't matter. I'm not going on an eyeliner rant. It's fine. Um, this is the eyeliner that I use, the Sephora one. It's incredible. Also, it like stays matte forever, which is really great. So those are the two products that I use. Okay, so still pretty shitty to be honest, but this is what we're working with. Great. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna take my eyeliner and like I said, it's a bit weird. So I take the brush on the like on the actual thing, this right here. I take this and I grab my freehand brush and I literally just pick a product from here. I used to do this with a gel eyeliner, the Maybelline Studio Black is Black, but I just felt like it was a waste of product to be honest when I could just be using this one here and it works the exact same. So I just coat the tip of my brush till, you know, desired. Um, I think this is, all right, don't be rude. Do you hear that? Also, I got a new mic, so I really hope that life is great right now. Um, okay, so let me just grab a compact mirror because I don't trust myself. Okay. All right, so I start, and here's the tip here. Here's what I have to tell you. Take your elbow and lean it on your table so that your hand is like, 
perfectly placed so that there's no screw ups. Does that make sense? So my elbow is placed on the table. I'm looking directly at my mirror in front of me. And again, I'm really sorry for this shitty angle. Please focus. This is a fucking $800 camera. Do your job. Hello? Thank you. Oh my God. Okay. So I'm just watch. Just watch. I'm done explaining. I'm taking the tip here, taking from the lower lash and just extending just like that. Like pretend my nail was actually just, oh look, all that water that just moved all my eyeshadow. Really cool, hold on. <laughs> okay, so this is thick and I know that it's thick, but just trust me here. I'm gonna take the same brush with the same amount of product and just take it from about like the middle of this line and drag in. And then I have this line here. So I have hooded eyelids. Also, I watched a really sad movie yesterday so my eyes are a little bit swollen so it does look a little bit awkward. But this is all I'm gonna do with this brush right here. Now I'm gonna go back in with the actual brush that came with the applicator and I'm gonna fill in everything else. Again, lean your elbow on the table, just helps. And we're gonna go from inner corner to literally the right here. Sorry, this is so terrible and my nails are disgusting, so I'm just, I'm so sorry about this whole thing. Wait, I'm actually gonna move you down like one notch. So I am somebody, please, for the love of God, focus. Thank you. I'm somebody that loves a thick. Thank you. I'm gonna lose my mind. Um, I'm somebody that loves a thick lash. Like I am, I mean, I love a thick lash, but I love a thick um, eyeliner. Like it's just my favorite thing in the whole world. And one of my favorite things about this actual eyeliner is that it dries down completely matte and dries very quickly. So I don't have to worry about it smudging or whatever. I used to use the other Sephora one that wasn't the waterproof and I'm not even exaggerating. It would run down my face like nobody's business. So finally I found this like, you know, one step up and it's completely perfect. So um, it dries down pretty quickly. You can see that like right here is still pretty wet, but like this right here is completely dry. So I'm just gonna continue filling. Okay, so I am satisfied with this right here. Actually, no, I'm not, but I'm looking straight into the camera. There's a little gap there that you can see. Um, but otherwise, I am satisfied that with the way that the actual line like goes from my inner corner to my out. We still haven't done this, so please stop. I know what you're thinking. I'm not stupid. Um, this is the hardest part, though. Sorry, hold on. Also, <laughs> it might help some people to get like extremely close to your mirror because sometimes I feel like I have to do that just to get like myself situated. Um, but now I'm completely fine with the way that this looks here. So <laughs> here's the really hard part that I haven't even mastered myself yet. So this line is already like stupid long for no reason. Um, so <laughs> I am taking like, all right, focus on, it's completely black behind me, great. So I'm gonna take the tip of this and I'm gonna take off as much excess as I can. Okay, just on the very tip. Then I'm gonna go to my line. And again, I'm gonna place my hands on a nice little table and situate myself. I'm gonna take just the tip of this and flick. And that's how I get like my sharp line. <sighs> okay, this takes a lot of concentration, so just give me a hot second. That was not what I needed right now. <laughs> Stupid cat. Are you done? Are you done? Stupid fuck. Okay, anyway, back to business. Take this. I'm so sorry, I'm terrible at this. Please, please, thank you, no. Okay. Okay, 
Again, stupid long for no reason, but this is how I like my eyeliner. Also, it always looks 110% better when you have lashes on anyway. So I'm gonna do the other eye, pop on some lashes, and then we'll choose a lip color together, and it'll be so much fun. So BRB. Okay, so I did just want to get back on here really quick before I did put my lashes on um, and show you exactly what they look like without lashes because like I said, everything looks 10 times better with lashes on. Um, so I'm looking to, like directly into the camera and as you can see, like they're not perfect. I'm not perfect, I'm the first example of that. Um, but you know, you win some, you lose some. So this is what they look like, you know, just done. Um, my hair was really annoying me up in that button so I took it out. I'm also gonna like style my hair today and I haven't done that in a long time and I'm like really excited since I dyed it. Um, also, there is like, this isn't a hair tutorial, but there's like a piece of my hair that's like significantly lighter than the rest of it and I'm like genuinely confused. You can really see it like, also my hair is wet so just keep that in mind. Oh, there it is. You saw it. That was it, right? Right here. Crazy. Anyway, whatever. Um, all right, let me do the lashes and we'll be back. I'm a mess. Okay, so I did just finish the face, but I do want to show you something that I feel like a lot of people forget. Um, I, I mean, you know, if you do this step, I am somebody that puts the, what is it called? Eyelash glue directly onto my eyeball on top of that eyeliner. So I'm only showing you this because I feel like it's important because it takes away from the matte that the eyeliner has put down and now it has kind of like a glossy feeling to it. I also like, I'm showing you the longest lashes in the world and I'm trying to hold them down as best I can. But like right here, I feel like is where it's like super, like sticky and glossy so all I do after I apply my lashes and once they're all done and like coated with mascara and stuff I just take my eyeliner and go directly over that line that has the eyelash glue just to make sure that it's completely matte um, but yeah that's pretty much it for the eye look um, I am gonna pick a lip with you just because like why not I am gonna zoom you out though and bring it down a little bit um, so I'm thinking like a pink because my hair is like super cute and stuff. So let's do a pink. Um, let me go through my, <laughs> wait, actually I'll show you. <laughs> this is my lip drawer in my container. Wait, I'm gonna like do this. Yeah, I'm just gonna fall everywhere. Um, this is my lip drawer in my little nice container over there. Um, and 97% of these are nudes. Yes, I do know that. Um, but let's pick a pink. <laughs> And let's do that. Also, I do want to let you guys know that I'm not somebody that puts on lip liner. So if you were expecting that on this page, I don't know what to tell you. Um, okay, we got a Kylie one in Coco K. This is like really, really pink though. All right, maybe, maybe. We got, oh, I used to love this. The Tartus Tart in Birthday Cake. Oh my God, that just hurt my heart. But this is like the little travel size. Um, okay, what else we got? No, that's a purple. But we could do a, no, this is like a nude. Is it? Let's watch it. This is the Melted Mattes from Too Faced. Yeah, that's a nude. I don't know why I even thought that was a pink. That's what that looks like. Um, maybe though. Um, it turns out I don't have a lot of pinks. Um, okay, I feel like this is what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna take the Kylie lipstick, which I actually can't stand. I can't stand her lipsticks. Um, and the reason I can't stand them is because this is the, <laughs> this is really embarrassing. This is the 2016 holiday collection. Um, this was like the first like lip thing that she like ever launched and I was so excited. And then I just like hated the way that they felt on my lips. Like it was just like to the point where I just couldn't handle it. So actually, um, I like haven't tried her lipsticks again just because like I'm so turned off by the fact that like you had such a shitty formula when you first launched so like how dare you you know so sorry Kylie that was no <laughs> offense to you obviously um, I'm gonna mix these two colors it's gonna be sellout from the um, melted mats from Too Fates and then I'm gonna do the Kylie Coco K and we're gonna do like a nice little ombre thing situation again I don't line my lips because I feel like it's completely unnecessary for me um so let's do that let's let's do this together this video was supposed to be like five seconds long and here we are so I don't need to be that close to the camera you don't need to see my crusty lips all right so I'm gonna take the sellout on the very outskirts of my lips here also I feel like you don't need liner if you're using a liquid lip Okay, kind of my 
smush that together. And clean it up. Okay. I'm gonna take a tissue and just make sure that the bottom is completely perfect. Like this. I'm not somebody that typically overlines their lips. Like I do like the tiniest bit. You can probably see it like right here, but I never go anything more than that because I just feel like I look like a freaking idiot. So then I'm gonna, uh, then I'm gonna drop the Kylie lipstick. Then I'm gonna take the Kylie Coco K and just put this on the inner parts of my lips like this. They also smell like dirt. This reminds me of like a, you know when you smell something and it reminds you of like a, a specific time and place? That's this right now. Okay, and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna take my finger So the real reason, like I said before, that I put the melted matte first was because I just don't like the way that Kylie feels on my lips alone. So I feel like if I had that barrier of the Too Faced Melted Matte, then this Kylie wouldn't be so bad. But I already feel like it's just like sticky for no fucking reason. Also, my lips are not chapped. I have had chapstick on my whole life and I just feel like it makes me feel chapped and I like shouldn't. I'm actually just gonna, <laughs> I feel so chapped. Let me just put on one more layer. Ew, I'm filthy. I just kind of like the way that this lip goes with the eye. So I want to make it the littlest more pink. Okay guys, so fast forward to me doing my hair, uh, but this is the finished look. Um, I, my hair is like, I have a love-hate relationship right now because it's like getting lighter and lighter with each, with each wash, which is like completely understandable, but I just feel like there are more highlighted parts than there are colored and it's so confusing. Anyway, doesn't matter. This is the completed look, um, literally nothing crazy, I just use, like I said, the naked uh, cherry palette. I feel like the craziest part is look is the fucking eyelashes and the lips that I don't like. So, um, whatever. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a really great day. Love you so much.